having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Fucking flapjack. Excuse me, flapjack? Downstairs to patch window. Mm-hmm. There we go. Can't jog on the stairs, which, you know, is good safety, you know. Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Uh. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god. God, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Um... Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But, um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah, well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... <laughs> I will, uh, pose for you. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. Alright. Perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Kind of figured. Is that okay? Uh... Don't... <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Uh, steely. They're, uh, they're steely. A cold, hard stare. Hmm. Like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that eh. comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright. Wasn't expecting that sudden of a shift. afternoon not too bad I could get used to it out here that's nice look um, I called with bad news two young women Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean were reported missing mm. We've got parents out in California who haven't heard from him in a week they were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody if they're the girls from last week then you're probably the last person to have seen them that's pretty awkward. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I caused them some trouble, but nothing major. I never even got very close to them. Well, uh... One stereo, that's it. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. 
Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? That's probably uh not what we should do. I I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll uh I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. She is a murderer. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We're really speeding through now. Henry? Henry, wake up. Hey, turtle. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. I'm coming, I'm coming. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Uh... Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Yo, you sound different. Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Mm. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Uh... Huh. Is that so? Hmm. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat and... I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought... Maybe you were having a nice conversation, and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Uh. uh. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Um, Ugh, he's incredible. Oh, what a caring, name. Sexy as hell. Um, he was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And, <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very, uh, very touching. Uh, hold on, back out. Let me, uh, just report that real quick. No, okay, no, fine. No worries, no worries. And four. Uh huh. Two forks. <laughs> I could just totally steal their stuff. I don't. I won't do that. Yeah, you should put the padlock back on. Guess not. Wait. End day. Report heading home. Hold on. Um. Think we could just go up and talk to her? Maybe. You never know. Let's see. Up we go. She's not that far away. Uh. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado! I gotta get out of here! A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in! Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado! He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. <sighs> okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man. Damn, seems like I'm just gonna have to die. All right. Just, just end the day. Uh, there's not a lot to do, as far as I know. I like how he wrote Cripple Gulch on that. Yeah. Yeah. Guess I'll report the end of the day. Alright, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Ooh, we're really accelerating through these days, huh? I'll never know who that murderer was at this rate. Whoa! Yeah, front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? The Flapjack Fire. Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. Would I? Um... <laughs> sure. If I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Didn't you still have to call this in? Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Uh, Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been screw my wife, right? Connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean.
mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk about these radios. We could, um, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? what could we do? Well, let me tell you. Oh ho ho ho. Mm-hmm. Oh ho ho. Henry, you devil. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh... Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Ugh. I can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can absolutely believe it myself. Put this away. Uh... What the, uh, D, I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? Huh. I'm worried. I, I understand. You didn't try eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's <coughs> Whoa! <gasps> the murderer! Oh. What happened, Henry? I. Holy hell, I just. I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with. What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't. Fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I I I I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Uh, maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Uh... Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst and a shitty prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. Um. What do you think is going on behind that fence? Following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, 
I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had mm. anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Ugh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, I could do that. All right, sure. Uh, go away, though. All right, so weird shit's going on. Okay. I knew there was a mystery going on in this game, but I didn't realize there was... It would be like this. So... I need to go into Thunder Canyon and then back up, right? Yeah. Wait, no, it says there should be one right next to Cache 305. Which is, like, that's what was over here, right? Yeah, so then there's a path, like... Oh. This is the path. Okay, sure. Wait, is it? Yeah. Okay. I'm stupid. Never mind. Don't worry. Okay, disregard. Disregard. Off we go. Let's see who the fuck tried to murder me. Well, okay, they didn't try to murder me because they could have totally murdered me if they wanted to. Let's go see who just, like knocked the shit out of me. Was it the figure from many months ago? Who knows? Nope. Alright. Um, this looks deliberate. So... I just go up this way. Yes, because that's where I climbed. Okay. Put the map away. Off we go. Let's go up to Wapiti. Wapiti, 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 Wapiti. I'll stop. I'm sorry. I'm stop. I'll stop doing that now. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. I could just climb Wait, what it. What the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's mm. only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Okay. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try, uh, no doubt. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Okay... Where? 